Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is a 60 years old female patient who presented to us with severe pain and redness. And she was diagnosed of having a phacomorphic glaucoma. The pressures were relatively very high. On presentation, the intraocular pressure noted was 60. And there was posterior sinecia extending from 12 o'clock till around 5.30 o'clock. The pressure was controlled using anti-glaucoma medications and the patient was taken up for surgery. And let's begin. By this time, one side port has been made. Entry chamber has been stained with trepan blue and viscoelastic has been instilled into the entry chamber. And here I'm using a cyclodialysis spatula or an iris spatula. Uh, depositor kind of an instrument just to release the uh, posterior sinecias from the entry lens capsule. It's a very swift movement below the iris and the capsule and the iris attachments are loosened up. Well, one more side port is made. Uh, well, due to the uh, Intumescent nature of the cataract, I have planned to do a, a two-stage rexis. So I am using a band needle cystitome just to puncture the entire capsule and one can see there is a gush of white milky fluid into the entry chamber. The visibility is not that very great because the status of the cornea is also not very good because the pressures were high for a substantial long time and I am using a 27 gauge cannula just to uh, release out some of the trapped fluid inside the lens putting some more high molecular weight viscoelastic and now I am going to take a, a micro rexis forceps to make a small mini rexis Grabbing the entry capsular flap, gradually and slowly the flap is being moved and I am aiming to have a small rexus about 2.5 to 3 millimeters. After the rexus completion, time to decompress the capsular bag. The nucleus is gradually tapped and rotated and all the entrapped uh, fluffy cortical matter is gradually aspirated out using 23 gauge bimanual irrigation aspiration system. This would substantially reduce the internal lenticular pressure and eventually help us with the subsequent steps of capsule rexes and nucleus removal. After decompressing the uh, capsular bag, I am going to make going to enlarge the capsular rexes. Again the interchamber is filled up with viscoelastic. A small micro scissor is taken to make a tangential nick in the entire capsular margin and the zonular health is also not very good because when I made the nick there were some radial folds in the entire capsule so again I am taking the micro rexus forceps to enlarge the existing capsule axis to the optimum size of about 6 mm.
and the intended size of the capsule axis was relatively small what i had wanted so uh, here i am uh, using a cystitome to just give some radial nicks on the entry capsular margin because the visibility is not very good because the cornea status is not very clear so um, and also the size of the nucleus is uh, big so i don't want to have an inadvertent intracapsular extraction so i am giving some radial nicks into the intracapsular margin two three on the right side and few on the left side so that we don't have any problem while maneuvering the large bulky nucleus out of the capsular bag After the conjunctival peritomy, the bleeders are taken care of using uh, wet field cautery. This light cautery is done just to take care of the bleeding vessels. We don't intend to do a large cautery just to charge the conjunct uh, sclera. So, a six to six point five millimeter. Uh, incision is made about 1.5 mm from the limbus the ends are marked using a crescent blade now the tunnel is fashioned the crescent enters into the cornea the, with bevel up about 1.5 mm into the cornea and the tunnel extended on the left side using the same instrument Side pockets are made so that we have an easy and a smooth delivery of the nucleus. The tunnel is extended on the right side with similar side pockets so that any at any point of time the nucleus doesn't get stuck into the tunnel. Now is the time to open the tunnel using a keratome. The anterior end of the tunnel is marked and anterior chamber is entered. The bevel of keratome and the tunnel is extended on the right side. Here, while extending on the left side, the I I felt that the keratome was not cutting it that smoothly, so I switched to uh, the crescent blade. Some viscoelastic is filled just to have some space, and the crescent blade is used to. extend the tunnel on the left side some more radial nicks are giving given on the left side of the uh, capsule excess margin just to aid smooth delivery of the nucleus Here I am taking two small Sinsky hooks. One Sinsky on the left side just pushes the nucleus towards the left. The right one hooks the equator of the nucleus, and the whole nucleus is smoothly wheeled out of the capsular bag using the bimanual technique of removing the nucleus from the capsular bag. Now is the time to deliver the nucleus out. This elastic is still both. in front of the nucleus and behind to protect both the cornea as well as the posterior capsule a phaco sandwich technique is been employed here the nucleus has been sandwiched between the vectus and the sinsky and gradually removed from the eye we had a very smooth delivery this is what we wanted
the loose cortical matter as well as the epinucleus is just irrigated out from the eye using the irrigation handpiece of the bimanual irrigation aspiration here the pupil size has also become slightly smaller well there is not much of cortical matter because majority of the cortical matter was aspirated out during the decompression of the capsular bag now is it time to implant the intraocular lens the capsular bag is filled with cohesive viscoelastic some dispersive viscoelastic is just laid over the cornea to aid in visualization and here i am taking a, a three piece pmma intraocular lens the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag below the entry capsular margin and i have switched on the retro illumination stereo coaxial illumination mode of the illumirai microscope to see exactly where the haptic is going this is a very interesting mode in this microscope so that we get a very nice red reflex the trailing haptic is then gradually dialed into the capsular bag the lens is well centered and both the haptics are in the capsular bag so it's checked now lens is moved into the correct orientation whatever viscoelastic i had pushed in into the eye i'm just going to remove it using the irrigation jet as the pupil is small and we have got multiple radial nicks into the intercapsular margin i am not too very keen to use the aspiration handpiece mode at a higher vacuum so majority of the viscoelastic i am just going to remove with the irrigation jet both from in front of the intraocular lens and behind and this is a good idea to just irrigate this viscoelastic I had intentionally uh, put the cohesive viscoelastic which gets easily removed. Here almost all the viscoelastic is now been removed from the eye we have got some loose intercapsular margin tags because we i had given some radial nicks in the intercapsular margin and the tags are hanging below the iris here i am putting some uh, carbocol just to bring down the pupil some antibiotic intracameral vigamox is given some air bubble is instilled into the entry chamber Here I am putting a 10-0 nylon suture to just counteract the against the rule astigmatism which would have been caused by this large incision. The patient did well. There was substantial amount of corneal edema the next day, and the pressures were normal. The patient didn't have any pain. The patient was given 
पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव मेडिकेशन एंड ऑल्सो सेमेंटी ग्लोकोमा मेडिकेशन एंड कॉल्ड आफ्टर फाइव डेज Suture is tied, knots are cut, and the knot is rotated inside the eye. Here I am closing the conjunctiva using a 8O vicral suture with a with a buried knot. That's it. The case is done. Hope you like the video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Help the channel to grow. If you have any queries or comments, uh, do comment in the comment box. That would encourage me to make more uh, informative videos like these. And hope you have a nice hearing of the video. And thank you so much. Have a nice day.